Hey guys, I'm Kate and this is my November wrap-up. So in November I read only two books, but I had to study a lot and didn't have a lot of free time to read. But I still managed to read uh, two books and I'm satisfied with that. And the first one being Mockingjay Part... Uh, Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. I was going to say Mockingjay Part 1. Uh, so this is, as most of you know, the third book in the Hunger Games trilogy. I have never read this book before and I don't know why. It is amazing. I love it. It Now it's one of my favorite trilogies ever and I can't wait to go and see the movie. I read this because I want to go see it. But before that I still need to watch Catching Fire and Mockingjay Part 1 and then I'll go see Mockingjay Part 2 and I'm really excited, can't wait to see it, I think it will be amazing. The second book that I read and I'm reviewing it in this video and you can probably guess what book it is from the title of this video and that is Blood Red Road by Moira Young. So this is the first book in the Dustlands trilogy and it is post-apocalyptic dystopian YA novel following Saba. She is a 18-year-old girl living with her par uh, with her father, brother and little sister. Their mother died giving birth to her little sister and she is uh, Saba hates her for that. She is blaming her for the death of their mother. She is really attached to uh, her brother. She is uh, his twin sister. They live in this world that is best described in this blurb on the on the cover. Uh, it says this world is like the world for from uh, Mad Max movies, and I, I agree with that. So one day there is this big sandstorm, and from the sandstorm a couple of men show up and kidnap her brother and kill her father. So she is left alone with her little sister and as they drag her brother away she promises him she will find him and rescue him. So she leaves uh, her little sister with a friend of their parents and sets off on this journey to save uh, her brother. This book is definitely a lot of fun to read. It is fast-paced and action-packed and a quick read. It took me a while to read it because I was studying but if I didn't, I would have read it in a couple of days. Uh, I had some problems with it. It was, it was exactly what I was looking for because I studied a lot. I needed something uh, really easy to read and something to relax with. I didn't want to read anything difficult and heavy and this book was perfect for that. So, uh, as I said, I had some problems with that. Uh, the first one is uh, plot twists. There was no plot twists in this movie, it, I'm sorry, in this uh, book. It is really predictable. I saw everything coming a mile away. Everything that I expected to happen, it happened. So it, uh, it disapp disappointed me a bit. I was, I was waiting the whole time some, something to different to happen and the storyline is really flat for me. The, I didn't like the characters. The only character that I did like was a bird and there was not a lot of character development. Maybe with Saba, but she was annoying throughout the whole book. But the whole book for me was nothing special. I probably in a month I won't remember what I have read. I am not interested in picking up the second or the third one. This book is uh, can be read as a standalone. It uh, the story wraps up wraps up rather nicely in the end. Uh, there is still a couple of unanswered questions at the end of this book, but for me it's nothing that uh, would make me read the second or the third book. In the beginning of this uh, review I forgot to say that Saba doesn't know how to write or read so this book is written a bit uh, differently and maybe you will need some time to get used to it. I maybe around, I got, you, got used to it maybe when I read 50 pages of this book but I think uh, Moira Young uh, did it really good. The, it is one of the best parts of this book the way it was uh, written. 
So at the end of this vid video, all in all, I liked this book, it was an okay book, I gave it 3 out of 5 stars and if you want something fun, easy and quick to read, maybe you should check out Blood Red Road. So have you read it? What did you think about it? Tell me down, uh, tell me in the comments below. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye!